right, so there it is. V nickel right there. Hi, I'm here to metal detect your yard. Got my detector and I got my shovel. Can I dig up your yard and look for treasure? We'll see how this goes. Hi. I'm Ryan Larkin. Um, I have noticed your house when I've been driving around the neighborhood. Awesome old house. Looks like it was built in about 1904 from what I looked at, looked up online. Um, I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm here to see if there's a possibility that I could possibly a metal detector yard. I do it as just kind of a little side thing, on, just for fun. I'm a hobbyist. Um, I would probably do your front yard. Um, anything I find, relics that could be tied back to your home, I'll give those all back to you because those are things that are tied to the home and people who used to live here. I'm more looking for like coins, um, silver coins, old just old coins that we can find in yards. Um, I was wondering if it'd be okay if I could do that here. Sure. Perfect. If I find anything that's real big value, anything like twenty dollars or more, I'd be happy to split the value with you on those. But if it's okay, can I keep the coins that I find in your yard? Um, yeah, that's sure. Good. Perfect. Um, now another kind of cool thing. I, I have a YouTube channel. Um, I put all my videos on there. It's kind of something I do for fun. Um, it's more informational and stuff like that. And I was wondering if there's a chance that I could actually video our interactions or metal, when I'm metal detecting your yard, if I can film all of that in your home and stuff like that. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. All right. Well, I appreciate it. No big deal. Thanks a lot. Okay, I just pulled up in front of a really old home. There's my Zillow app. Push the little button that shows where I'm at. I shrink in where I am. Let's see. I'm thinking I'm in front of. It's got to be this one. So I click on that house itself. I scroll up. Home was built in 1912. So built in 1912 so now when I go up to the door and ask I have some information that will show them that I know exactly when their house was built all right I'm gonna go to the door and see With a little more permission Hi, I'm Ryan. Um, Hi. I'm not here to sell anything, just want to kind of get that out of the way at first. I metal detect as a hobby on the side. Um, you got a really cool old house, looks like it was built in 1910, 1912, like right in that range. I was wondering if you'd be okay if I detected your yard. Um, what I'm looking for is old relics that kind of tie back to the owners of the home. Um, any of those relics I find, I'd love to give those back to you because those kind of tie back to the history of the house. Um, the other thing I'm looking for is old coins. Um, if I can keep those old coins for myself, I will give you half the value of anything that's valuable, like $20 or more. Because every so often you do find some coins that are of some pretty good value. Um, if I do find any of those, I'd be happy to pay you half the value of those as long as I can keep those coins. How interesting. It's kind of, kind of fun. Nice. It's, a, it's a cool hobby to get into. A hobby. Yeah. Okay. But, um, what I'd like to do is start out in the front yard. Um, usually that's like anywhere where people were getting on and off horses or carriages back in the day. Um, friends coming over. These are usually the best places to detect, mm -hmm. which would be out here where everybody kind of lived and were pulling keys out of their pockets maybe. And then maybe moving to the side yards and stuff like that. It might take me a couple of days if that's okay. I can come back maybe. Sure. Obviously I'm dressed up. I can't really detect today like I'm dressed, but I'd probably come back maybe even after a rainstorm. I get a little bit better depth on my machine if I come back after a rainstorm. Um, but I'll knock on the door and kind of tell you when I'm here and tell you when I'm leaving and kind of show you the things I found. Well, you're welcome to search anyone you awesome. like. That's cool. Um, now, I have one more request. Mm -hmm. So, I have a YouTube channel. Um, okay. It's kind of fun. It's more of an informational YouTube channel where I'm trying to show people uh, about the sport of metal detecting and also um, kind of show some of the information behind how to metal detect and how to dig uh, proper 
holes to make sure it doesn't damage the lawn at all, things like that. Is it okay if I uh, record our conversations and also maybe record one in your yard and post that stuff on my YouTube channel? Sure. Sweet. That'd be great. I'll be glad to help you. Well, I appreciate your help on that. Um, okay. What I'm going to do, I'll probably come back this weekend um, and do it when I have a little bit of time to spend. And when I come back, I'm obviously not going to be dressed like this. I'll probably be in okay. shorts and a t-shirt and stuff. So. Well, you're welcome anytime you like. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Thanks, Ryan. Have a good day. Thanks a lot. And what was your name? Janet. Janet. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Thanks Janet. Ryan. Rocky Mountain Prospector Ryan here. Got permission to hunt this home behind me here. Um, before you go get permissions, it's always good to do as much research as you possibly can, not only on the home, but also the neighborhood, um, maybe even any of the past owners of the home. That, uh, you may be able to talk to the owners that are current, uh, currently owning the home. One of the things I use is actually on my phone. I hope you'll be able to see this. Zillow, Z-I-L-L-O-W, Z-I-L-L-O-W. Um, it's the best site I've ever found. You can actually pull up in front of a home. It'll actually show you exactly when the home was built, last time it was sold, different uh, pieces of information that are very critical to understanding what home you're looking at. Um, I use it a ton. I'll try to put a link in here so you can see uh, how to get to the site. But I found out this home was a 1904 home before I walked up to the door and made sure that I explained to the owner that I knew it was a 1904 home. Tried to explain to them that I, I had done research and I wasn't just uh, stopping by on a whim and asking for permission about something I knew nothing about. Uh, if you come with a little bit of information like that, I think it's a little more powerful for the homeowner and I think they're more willing to give you uh, permission knowing that you're, you've actually done some research on it first. Also, if you noticed, um, I didn't wear a hat. I took my sunglasses off before I got to the door. Um, I wore fairly nice clothes. Um, I don't show up in t-shirts like I'm in now and flip-flops. I try to present myself a little more professionally. Um, I think that makes a big difference, especially, I mean, you saw it was a, a young lady with a young child. I think they're a little more leery of a, a guy stopping by their house and talking to him face to face, and especially if you're gonna be coming back again at a different time. If you present yourself professionally in the beginning, it's gonna go a long way down the road.